Namaste, welcome to Bauna's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a very traditional Gujarati recipe from where I grew up. Um, it is known as Patra or Pateria. Today I thought of trying out in uh, my air fryer instead of deep frying them. Um, so let's see how they turn out to be. Um, here I have some fresh patra, also known as taro leaves, um, also known as urbi uh, in some part of India. So basically these are the leaves I have uh, blooming in my garden. So I thought today I'm going to prepare the uh, patra, also known as bacteria. There are different names uh, from different regions of India. Um, but we call it patra or pateria. Take one taro leaf at a time and remove the stem with veins. Here I have all patra ready. Now if you can't find taro leaves, uh, you can try using some other greens. But you want to use the greens that uh, do not get wilted easily. Um, I can recommend also the big leaves of spinach, not the baby spinach or maybe mustard or um, uh, there are some other kale. First step is to prepare the batter. Into this mixing bowl, I'm going to take a cup of a basin, quarter cup of corn flour. I'm not using corn starch. It is corn flour or corn meal. You can use makkai ka atta or you can use uh, jowar bajra atta or gehu ka atta. But the main flour should be basin. A tablespoon of ground peanut, moomphali. Here I have special garam masala used for this uh, patra making. But if you don't have, you can leave out or you can use some other kind of garam masala. Ground coriander, cumin, dhania jeera powder. Turmeric powder, haldi. Red chili powder as per your taste. Salt as per taste. Now remember you want to add some little bit more salt for the leaves as well. One teaspoon of sesame seeds if desired. Till. Now this recipe is about sweet and sour as well. So here I have brown sugar. You can use gur, um, jaggery also known as or you can use simply any kind of sugar but I like to use brown sugar. First give it a good stir to all dry ingredients. All right, mixed well and now it's time for wet ingredients. For the wet ingredients here I have oil. Uh, some people also add garlic paste. So if desired you can add garlic paste. I'm going to add about 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil. It requires good amount of uh, oil. Here I have lime. You can add lemon or lime juice. Some people use tamarind, imli. For sour taste in this recipe so it's totally up to you very juicy lime I have here look at this giant lime blooming in my garden mm, this lime smells amazing all right so everything is in there now add little water at a time and i'm going to use my hands hand actually just one hand is good enough and mix it really well prepare lump free batter and keep the batter thick kind of a paste so that you can spread nicely just going to add a little bit of water so that's just good enough so it takes very less amount of water so be careful not to add all at once but add as you go as you keep on mixing the mixture is a bit of a sticky to work with but tastes amazing so you want to prepare kind of a consistency that can be spreaded easily on those leaves this mixture the aroma is so good here okay 
I'm gonna take a little bit more water and that should work now. So I'm just going to keep on mixing. So here I have the batter ready. As you can see, it's uh, thick, but this is how um, I want. And next, take flat plate and take one taro leaf at a time. Actually, the other way is very convenient this way. So I can hold on to this tip and then spread. Make sure your taro leaves, um, bacteria washed really well. Sometimes they have all kinds of uh, stuff on it, dirt, bugs, so clean them properly and you have to remove some veins, the, the thick veins as you can see it's already cut here. So you have to prepare your uh, taro leaves really well before using. Okay, so this one is spreaded well. Now take another taro leaf on it so basically you repeat repeat the same thing spread better one more here now it depends on how big you want your bacteria or patra to be when they are done so once you are done with this you can steam or you can fry directly you can shallow fry or deep fry so there are several options for preparing this, uh, cooking this patra. And today I'm thinking of uh, trying out in air fryer. So as you can see, I'm taking like size by size. The first one was big, then I took a little smaller, then a little smaller, and this one is really small. As you can see, it's not necessary, but it makes the, um, the roll kind of a little bit better. But you may not always get the assorted sizes for patra, so not to worry about that. I think I am just going to use about four of taro leaves. And now I'm ready to roll. So first I'm going to get those wings in and again spread better on them. Alright, so that's done. Next, the sides, like so, and then prepare tight roll. Now because of the chickpea flour, it is always going to be sticky and it also helps to um, keep this towel leaves intact really well, but just to be sure to roll properly and if you are going to steam um, there won't be any problem even if you haven't rolled really tight so here I have my first roll ready as you can see and I'm going to prepare rest of the rolls all right so here I have my last one done all right so here I have all the taro leaves rolls ready uh, patelia or patra. Now, as I said, you can cook this patra in many ways. You can steam, you can shallow fry, deep fry. I'm going to preheat air fryer at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for three minutes. We cut this roll into about a half inch or actually quarter inch. Now, if you want to cut them properly, you can refrigerate and then cut. But if you have a good knife, you can just simply go ahead and, and cut it. So basically, just uh, slice them up like so. When the air fryer is preheated, remove the um, pot and carefully place atra and then place the pot back inside and this time I'm going to set the timer at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes you can check after five minutes if they are done after about five or four minutes you can check 
pop the pot out oh my god smells amazing and as you can see they already look great if desired you can spray a little bit of oil to make them more crispy and just uh, toss them to bake on the other side so I'm going to pop back in and just a couple of more minutes okay I put it for 10 minutes but to me it looks like I think if you preheat your air fryer it takes about eight minutes only I have two minutes left and they already look so yummy crispy I can uh, toss them easily the color looks great when I actually fry in the oil the color gets black uh, of, uh, of those taro leaves but in here they look great green and a nice bright color so let me show you so carefully take out into the plate look at the color look at how green it looks so air fried patra or pateria and i can feel the crispness already because you can see that some of the flakes inside this air fryer look at this one i think this is from the taro leaves and it's really crunchy now while they are still warm actually slightly hot sprinkle poppy seeds mm, looks amazing look at this patra and i'm going to give it a taste test to this uh, air fried patra mm. i hope you can hear the crunch it tastes amazing just like those people's um you know sell in india the vendors actually on the street it tastes amazing and look at the color when i fry they kind of turn um black but this pancha looks really nice and green and uh, really crispy um so i hope you enjoyed making air fried pancha today with me please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipe videos every week and please do visit my website bonuskitchen.com for new recipe tips tricks and ideas in the kitchen thank you for watching and see you soon